YFN Kamak Music Industry News back with another man. We're going to sit here and react to Charleston White and Jay Prince's uh, reach out to Charleston White after Charleston White was running his mouth so much. Jay Prince had reached out and let's react and see what was said. YFN Kamak Music Industry News, anything that has to do with our music industry, our culture, and I say our culture because we're all, we're all here. We've all put our work in. We're not on borrowed time. We're not just invited here. I say our culture because it's 2023. We don't see color. Understand me? So we ain't guests here. This is our house too. We've done our due diligence, our homework. We put our work in. Know that. YFN Kamek Music Industry News. Anything that has to do with our music industry, our culture, and everything and anything that has to do with entertainment, man. I bring it to you first and foremost, breaking news type ish, man. YFN Kamek Music Industry News. Let's get into this Charleston White and his rap rant at uh, uh, antics. That's how I feel about Charleston's bitch ass. Slur cane joint. I'm old school. I don't use shatter or snakes for my fillers. I just smoke dispensary buds, so I accumulate a lot of roaches, dispensary roaches that I, when I feel like I've accumulated enough, I break down it and I put it in my buds and use it as a filler and get extra toasted. So here we go, Charleston White and the J Prince conversation. J Prince called Charleston White after Charleston White had been saying, fuck mob ties. You ain't got shit to do with us over here in, in Houston. I don't know which one's Houston and which one's Dallas or what that is and who's where and what. I'm pretty sure J Prince is in Dallas or Fort Worth, Texas, and uh, Charleston White's rat snitch ass is in uh, Houston, I'm pretty sure. So let's get into this. Between me and Jay Prince, just causing concerns, uh, safety concerns. They think uh, somebody probably try to retaliate. Uh, this is one of those, somebody from the mayor. Charleston White was supposed to go out and talk to kids. And it just so happened to be in the city of Jay Prince's, which is Houston. And uh, the Houston Coalition came together and thought better of today's situation and what it is that, 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 that had to be done, which was Charleston White talking to the youngins. And um, Charleston uses the fact that, oh, they ain't let me talk to the young kid to spit no game. He uses that to his, his, to his advantage, knowing damn well. His whole ride into Houston was going to be him trolling Jay Prince and then, yeah, maybe have a conversation with the kids because he does care. He is an activist, but he's a piece of shit rat who runs his mouth and says out, outlandish fucking disrespectful shit and he's still out here walking around. You can't talk about people's dead family members and say you're going to pee on they. They, they rest in place and all this, like, man. And then just walk free willy-nilly. Like, nah, you better keep that pepper spray and them long-ass motherfucking clips on your choppers. You better do it. Charleston White, J. Prince calls in to check this man. I've seen the very beginning up until where I just paused and I haven't seen the rest. So I don't know if he called in to check him or if you called in to ask what the fuck you want, or what it is, but let's figure it out together. YFN Kamak, Music Industry News. Check me out. Office. Uh, they asked her to reschedule the event uh, because they think it was bad timing uh, with me and Jay Prince having this situation, the offset uh, uh, investigation. So they don't want the attention, the negative tension that this brings to the city. Real life. Say, say, oh, uh, yeah, poor people can't ban 
nobody from nothing but the project. And I don't go to the project. When, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they turn all the projects down. See, only poor people can put bands on other poor people. So you end up throwing, you know, New York in the mix, Atlanta in the mix, now Houston in the mix. Do you feel like going at entire cities? Just do you like to just the, the sense of like hiding in danger or something? When you like, I'm gonna because yeah, because you ain't gonna make it much farther behind, there, Charleston. Uh, be careful, I, buddy. The Better be careful, buddy. Like to be able to do that, which is amazing, by the way. I mean, oh uh, well, let me just say this. Oh, uh, the police is my partner. He's my homeboy. The police is my partner. The police is my homeboy. This just shows you what the fuck we're dealing with. My nigga, like I do bear my nigga, the police is my partner. My niggas. Uh, so nigga, imagine my partner go pick me up from the airport. We go stay at his big mansion. He'll go to work. Uh, I'm gonna be in the house with his daughter. I'm gonna go to the club. I'm gonna leave my key on the table. Come back home, he gone. Got rain is over here to wake his daughter up. She gonna get on our bus, can we? I hope this don't go where I think it's going. You gonna wake his daughter up and do what, nigga? Slurry cane joint with a filler of slurry cane roach weed, cause I'm old school. I use my uh, exotic roach weed for my fillers. No snakes, no shatter, no glass. Just old school roach weed. Charleston White, and Jay Prince. Ain't left the trash out, so he my partner. So, yeah, no, so I'm going to ride like that. Not only that, uh, he going to take me through the Atlanta Police Department gang unit. All the police go high five me. The same detective that was interviewing YSL Woody, I get to say, oh, that's the woman that was interviewing Woody, Woody. So, so no, nah, homie, and not only that, uh, most people in these cities feel how I feel. If it take me to say, fuck your city, to bring awareness to your city and what's going on in your city, most people want that. Uh, because... What we know is you don't love your city as much as you say you love your city that you would kill me over saying fuck your city. Because if you did, you'd change the things that's going on in your city. So I already know by me saying fuck New York, ain't nobody going to kill me for saying fuck New York when them niggas beating on women in New York. There was a woman in New York walked to the store or last year, was it? And some guys made a pass at her in Brooklyn and because she turned them down, they manged her face and bit her and all kind of shit. Nigga, didn't know nigga die over that. By me saying fuck New York, I didn't inflict no pain to cause no blood to come out of you. You think you'll kill me with that? Winners 2023, Porsche Platinum Panamera during the Race to the Finish promotion network. Now, from the... No, maybe not so, but what about all that other whole shit you done got away with saying? Fuck King Von, I piss on this grave, I piss on that grave, fuck Tuka, fuck this, fuck they mamas. And then you just walk free willy and nilly. So yeah, maybe not the one you talking about, they ain't get you, but guarantee they gonna get you and that pepper spray ain't gonna help, nigga. Better keep one of them long clips on you. I don't wish harm on nobody, but this ain't nobody. This a motherfucking disgraceful individual. Bronx want to kill a nigga from Harlem about a hundred and twenty dollars he borrowed it three years ago. The nigga ain't paid him back. You think they mad about what I'm saying on in there? Nigga, Bob's missing nigga right now. Mad cause nigga jumped on his sister. He just ain't seen him yet. But as soon as he see him, he gonna get that nigga. Man, he jumped on his sister. No doubt. Ain't worried about me saying fuck New York on me. Have you had a situation where you said fuck <clears throat> a certain place, city, or thing, whatever? Yeah, last night. Like, like, regret it. Uh, no, nah, I ain't never regretted nothing, but I, uh, but, but I, I done said fuck, I done said fuck some shit, uh, just to be on the internet saying fuck some shit. And he's had remorse and he has, um, been timid because there's been video evidence of two apologies made by Charleston White, one forced by T.I. And I think another one came from Jay Prince and where this is headed. Um, so don't let the buffoonery fool you. Um, Charleston White is a rat and he's a pussy when it comes down to because if you're going to be an activist rat, stand on what it is you're doing. 
and don't run scared and don't apologize, but you've already made two apologies because you know your life was at stake, boy. And then uh, ran into some real thoroughbred street niggas, uh, and they want to stand nose to nose, forehead to forehead, and talk about it. So hmm. what I just say? Shout out to Mississippi niggas. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Mississippi. Yeah, big penitentiary tractor driving. Last thing, and then I'll let it run, because I hate when I'm watching reactions and they keep pausing and talking. Do not smoke joints if you don't know how to smoke joints. There's an artwork to lighten joints, let alone smoking joints. You must first put it in your mouth, put a little fire to it. Pause. Put it in your mouth, pause. Put a little fire to it. Once you see it take fire, blow it out immediately. Then take it and spin it. So the bowage, there ain't none, and so it's evenly, right? And then once you feel happy with your spinach, you come in with a little bit more fire. Don't let it catch. Don't let it catch. Ask that motherfucker, and if you feel as though you need to add just one more fire to the light. So be it. And that's how it's done. Slurricane in the air. Charleston White on the air. Running his dick sucker. Fuck Mob Ties and Jay Prince. Fuck Charleston White. Long live Takeoff. Long live our rocket man. Long live Dolph. Long live Pop Smoke Papa. Long live our angel Nipsey. Long live the guys. Long live AC3. Abraham Lincoln. Come back the third. The third. Abraham Lincoln. Come back the third. AC3. Flave, love you, daddy. Dragon ass niggas, yeah, 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 yeah. going real. Then they, they, they don't talk loud. They whisper. Dangerous niggas whisper. No, dangerous. No, nigga, dangerous niggas. They talk to you like this, whether you want them to or not. And they be looking into your eye, and you be wanting to move. They get closer. Yeah, yeah you be wanting to move. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, dangerous niggas whisper. Yeah. <laughs> That's the truth. So. Not only do dangerous niggas whisper, but they also quiet, sitting in the corner of the room. That's the truth. BFW, I have to ask you, man. <coughs> Don't you fuck with the quiet niggas. Our, our cousin. Dang, our cousin. Y'all stop saying that, nigga. <coughs> Go to prison and see if Houston is oh, yeah, good. Man, I've been to prison. That's it, y'all stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter, matter of fact, Houston and Dallas don't get along. Never have. That's why, that's why Rap a Lot Records, that's why no Houston thing have ever came down here and signed nobody from Dallas. That's why they never gave us an alley hoop through us, no helping hand or nothing. Let's just be clear, boys and girls. We know Houston don't like us and we don't like them. We just don't bother one another. But we don't have no camaraderie, no bond. We don't hold hands. We don't have no relations to them. Dallas and Fort Worth is big brother, little brother. So the J Prince incident that what an event with kids got shut down? Nah, man. Uh, what was that? Uh, uh, there's a lady by the name of Miss Sonya Parker. They call her Miss Pap. Uh, she has an a, a, a organization that's called Parents Against Predators. She's been doing this for 16 years. Uh, she was having an annual youth, youth mentor one day. And so she had me at, at, at the, to speak uh, that Saturday. Uh, we was booked. This, this event been been promoted online for over a month and a half, long before the J. Prince uh Real quick, and I'm done, I promise. This is a brand new Elf Bar as of yesterday, but if you work um, in the manual labor field and you keep your Elf Bar or your vapes in your pockets and you go to hit them and you look inside and you see all the dirt and the nastiness, try to keep your vapes out of your pockets. It's hard and as dumb as that may sound because you need them throughout the day. Try to find a pocket on your person that's not going to get dirty like a like one of them collared collared uh checkered shirts worker shirts i had them on the past two days and i put my shit in my top pocket where it can't get dirty um i carry q-tips on me because i clean i clean them out even with them being brand new i was just cleaning this out but you really need to keep q-tips on you while you're at work with your vapes because you could clean them out. It's already bad enough that we're smoking vapes, smoking cigarettes, smoking weed, ruining our lungs, hopefully not as much to 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 long full, long fully 
long term fully affect us because i need to live at least another twenty nine years because my first thirty was terrible i need to be a man of god and live in god's name for at least another thirty which is twenty nine realistically because i'm thirty one now i need to see my kids graduate high school go off to college if that's what they want to do if not then see them start their career and then i'll come home to you god but please give me till sixty I love you, Lord. Make sure you say your prayers in the morning and at night and throughout the day. Shit, whenever it is you feel as though you need to get in touch with that man upstairs and get some relief on you, I'm telling you, pray. Heaven's real. Hell is real. Purgatory's real. Keep dancing around out here doing the devil's work, thinking that you won't go to heaven, nigga. When it's time to meet them pearly white gates, you're going to be sent to pur purgatory and then sent, uh, slap the number on that says hell, a number. And, and letters that say hell 666 and then you're going to be put right down there in the burning flames with the rest of them see me i'm going up and above i'm going up there with god and the real angels because i asked for another 29 to recorrect my my livelihood my life that i messed up my first 30 years so god willing he gives me that fiasco oh, clean your shit oh don't smoke cigarettes. Nobody Don't smoke, from period. Houston police department Nothing. contacted me. Nobody from the city of Houston contacted me. Uh, Ms. Papp is a very uh, well-connected woman uh, in the mayor's office. She's very good friend of me. The chief of I police. just smacked uh, the fuck out of my mic on my uh, fake-ass drum. Uh, trying to do too much. Pressure. Trying to put my bullets away. Smack the bullshit out this motherfucker, but this mic's crawling and everything is it holds up very well. These two kids from Queens had dreams about being the next gods of rock. Only in theaters March 31st. Make sure this shit ain't Bennett nowhere. I'd be heartbroken if it was Bennett. With models that fit any lifestyle, through elegant design and progressive technology, the Audi e-tron family. Progress that moves you. Shut up. Houston bread. Excuse me Black for the commercials. It happens. Uh, she don't get a lot of support. So she reached out to me to help bring awareness to what she's doing. Shine a light. I'm going to come support her because she supported me in one of my youth events in, in Griffin, Georgia. Uh, so, so I was supposed to speak at 2 o'clock. Uh, I think I was going to speak after gang unit. So she got a call saying uh, that there's an issue between me and Jay Prince that's causing concern. Uh, safety concerns. They think uh, somebody probably try to retaliate. Uh, this is one of those, somebody from the mayor's office. Uh, they asked her to reschedule the event uh, because they think it was bad timing uh, with me and Jay Prince having this situation, the offset of uh, uh, murder investigation. So they don't want the attention, the negative attention that this brings to the city. Uh, which I understand, Miss Papp, you know, the city of Houston have anything to do with what's going on with what I'm saying online and what uh, the rumors are saying. Uh, because we had the flyer posted online, the people on the internet was calling. Always do your homework. Always do your due diligence, especially if you're in this YouTube community, these YouTube streets. Do your research. That way you could come to your videos knowledgeable, first and foremost, breaking news type ish, type of shit that people who made videos on the same video didn't say what you said. Why? Because you did your homework and they didn't. Do your homework. Do your due diligence. Do your research. Before I um hit play, I gotta I gotta do this because I haven't done it today. My humility prayer is loving God, thank you for the gift of life with you. Thank you that I don't need to be more than I already am. Thank you that in you I find all that I need and more. Must repeat every morning and every night. Lord, I thank you for paying for the sins I have committed. I give my life to you. 
Teach me the correct way to live. Amen. I love you, Lord. Give all your glory to him. Say your prayers in the morning and night. Whatever dream it is you're trying to chase down, do not give up. After a week or two of not getting no progress, say your prayers. Hold on to God. Reach out to him when you're angry, mad, and sad. And I guarantee your dreams, what it is you're chasing down, will come to fruition. It will come true. Have patience. Pray and be a good citizen. Help other people. Pray and continue to chase your dreams. Do not get discouraged. Do not listen to haters. Do not listen to nobody but your mama and your dad. And the people in the industry that you look up to. The people on the internet was calling. Uh, saying things. Uh, which I'm not picking my nose. I got a scab in my nose. Outside attention. Every time I trim my nose hairs, I put fucking uh, hand sanitizer on them. I should I should use alcohol like my grandma would tell me. I put hand sanitizer on them to keep them clean. And then I go in there and I, I, I chop up my nose hairs. But I know that's what left the scab. So I'm going to have to go old school and use um, alcohol. Let me switch hands here. Boogers and scabs, they're mine, but uh, don't get creeped out there, YouTube. We know how y'all act. Being brought to him. Uh, out of respect for Miss Pap, uh, I withdrew from the, from the program. Uh, because, I mean, that woman organization ain't got nothing to do with this. Uh, she was hurt because she'd been doing this for 16 years. And all this is about Charleston White and Jay Prince. And no one ever thought to give her the support. Uh, and she still don't get the support, the financial support. Uh, so the woman was in tears, man. Uh, I was hurt. I was upset. I'm saying that's how fucked up the court is. Rather than them saying, okay, how about we just provide extra protection? Make sure nothing happens. Because the kids were excited uh, to, to have this day. Uh, to make a long story short, it turned out to be a successful event. Uh, I immediately jumped online. 22 and, minutes. That's why it takes a day for my shit to upload. Uh, to really promote the event. It's supposed and to be a 10 minute day long day clip. Like I just been talking like. too much. Fuck Jay Prince, the motherfucker Houston. So a lot of shit I was just making up and saying. <laughs> Jay Prince a long time ago said he'll never speak on your name. Cause... Listen, a lot of shit I was just making up and saying. But Jay Prince and him did reach out to me to try to have a sit down. Uh, yeah, they reached out. They, they reached out to me. They reached out to my management. They, uh, uh, they hollered at some of Duke Jail. They reached out. Uh, but, nigga, I'm a hard-headed motherfucker. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Nigga, I didn't listen to my mama. I'm just now starting to kind of listen to mama and repeat the things that mama say as a grown man. Nigga, if I ain't listen to mama and grandmama and them growing up, fuck, I'm going to get grown and listen to a nigga from another state. Nah, nigga, when I realized it wasn't no rolling 60 streets in Fort Worth, Texas, that's what made me <coughs> I wanted to do some shit from another state. So, nah, uh, I don't sit down and talk to nobody. If, if anybody got a problem with me, they got to hit me in the mouth or kill me and just leave me alone. You can't talk to me. You can't give me no talking to me. I'm going to get real disrespectful if you think you can talk to me. And that was that. Whatever you got out of that, I apologize. I was speaking more than uh, normal, but I got more videos coming for the day. So Charleston White is a supposed activist, but in all reality, he is a troublemaker. He stirs the pot. He uh, disrespects the dead. He disrespects the living. And he calls himself an activist. He says the police is on his side. That don't surprise me, man. Dirty runs with dirty. Snakes run with snakes. They slither together. That's just what it is. Speaking of which, this slur cane got me feeling right. Hey. 
Stand ten toes down firm at all times. Chase your dreams. Don't let nobody tell you you can't reach or obtain a dream. Anything is possible as long as you do your due diligence, which is homework, your research, and grind hard at the craft that you're trying to succeed in. Don't listen to nobody that tells you anything negative. You continue to push forward. Fuck the haters. Fuck the negativity. Keep your headphones in at all times so you don't have to hear no outside bullshit. Get it done, youngins. You got it in you. Let's go. YFN, Kamak, Music Industry News. Anything that has to do with our music industry. Anything that has to do with our culture. And I say our culture because it's 2023. We see no color. And everything and anything that has to do with entertainment, I bring it to you first and foremost. Breaking news type ish. YFN, Kamak, Music Industry News. Check me out. See ya.